And hello from the Strobel Alley. We find ourselves at the Zignali Duna Park. It's Borussia Dortmund against Bayern, a game of real residence here in Germany. Derek Ray here on the commentary gantry, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you expecting today? Well, I'm expecting a really close game today. This is a rivalry that's been really good in recent times. Yes, Bayern have dominated, but on their day, Dortmund can outplay anybody, particularly in this wonderful arena. He's been the subject of considerable attention coming into this match. Robert Lewandowski taking on his old club, and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some reason, playing against your old club can be difficult. You just feel that bit of added pressure. I hope it doesn't affect him today. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Emre Can plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts alongside Thomas Müller in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. Alfonso Davies. Sané. On to Gnabry. Lewandowski. And he struck the post. Well, just went a bit too early. Offside. Emre Can. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Lewandowski on to Gnabry another block and let's see what Bayern can do with this corner kick situation delivering it well not the easiest of chances tightly marked but not even close in the end Corentin Tolisso. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Rifled against the post, but back in play. Nice. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Really a very poor ball. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, can Dortmund create one more big chance to win this game? If they do, this stadium will erupt because these fans have been brilliant today. Has eyes for goal! Leroy Zane! Splendid defending! Can they forge ahead? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks will test the mentality of any footballer oh a superb save composure is so important under these trying circumstances and that is when you need your goalkeeper and he squandered it off target And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Can he get the better of the keeper? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. In it goes. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score.
and he's beaten the keeper. A goal now, and his team will prevail. Now it's over, and the celebrations can begin. Well, they probably just about deserved it, didn't they? Overall, they were the best team. Scenes of jubilation here. They'll be hoping for bigger and better in the near future, but they're certainly going to enjoy this moment for now. Well, winning becomes a habit, and I think they showed a lot of character here today. They're a tough team to beat, that's for sure. First piece of silverware, and that is never to be sniffed at as the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today. Well, it's great preparation for the season, Derek, and this is always a nice moment going up to lift any trophy. Great for those fans as well. Now for the trophy lift. And with friends and family in attendance, you've always got to really savour these moments when they come around, Stuart. Well, they've got to enjoy this, Derek, and then get ready for a tough season ahead. They won't be celebrating too much tonight. Absolutely, Stuart. They all know the show must go on after this. And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world. Well, these are great moments, aren't they? Certainly ones to cherish. And there will more of this come the end of the season.